Fans love to get on LeBron's nerves and always go at him on social media. But when they're face to face, many make the right decision and shut their mouth. Although some choose to still talk or be weird with the GOAT. Like this guy who literally tried hugging LeBron the other night and he was forced to push him out of the way, getting him kicked out of the Lakers arena. Or when LeBron told this fan off and talked about his girlfriend. Zero zipped on you. Huh? <laughs> the fan was digging into him pretty hard here, but come on, Bron, you didn't have to violate him like that. In this video, we'll be going over all the times LeBron James has gotten into fights with fans and some other NBA players who had scuffles with people on the sidelines. First, let's look at this time when LeBron pointed out Pacers fans and forced them out of the arena. Apparently, they said some terrible things about Bronny, and as a fellow NBA fan, I'm glad LeBron got them kicked out. There's absolutely no room in our game for that. In this next clip, a woman on the sidelines said some explicit insults to the king, and he didn't like it at all. Watch your mouth, woman! Watch your mouth, woman! I can't repeat what she said, but it definitely wasn't nice. And I don't know what happened in this clip, but he clearly wasn't happy. They were recording him and almost stepped on the court, but surprisingly weren't kicked out of the game. And then this fan called LeBron a baby behind his back, but he turned around at the perfect moment. She immediately stopped, and luckily Bron didn't look that mad. Now let's take a look at some of the craziest fan interactions from across the league, which includes arrests and physical fights. Russell Westbrook can be a hothead and got this fan kicked out for a verbal altercation they got in. I don't know what he said, but that hoodie might be the ugliest thing I've ever seen, so I'm siding with Westbrook on this. One. Austin Rivers ran to tell the ref on this fan, pointing him out like a madman. I mean, the fan must have said something about his dad's coaching career with the 76ers because I would get mad too. Miles Bridges got ejected from a game and let it all out on a fan when going to the tunnel. He threw his mouthpiece at him and stared him down, almost hitting his hand in the process. This dude might need some anger management classes. And even though he's often regarded as the nicest guy in the NBA, Steven Adams tried fighting a fan after he told Stevens to shut up. Even if he's nice, Steven Adams is the strongest player in the NBA and one of the last guys I'd want to fight. For these next couple of clips, I'm going to show you how much NBA players hate phones so stay tuned because when a fan called Harden the biggest flopper in the NBA he wasn't afraid to hit his iPhone away you're still the worst flopper in the NBA the police even got involved which seemed unnecessary but the fan wasn't happy at all Westbrook slapped a phone at the Jazz Arena and the fan thought he did nothing wrong and then Rodney Hood had the most nonchalant phone slap I've ever seen he just kept walking to the locker room now let's take a look at this fan that tried throwing a water bottle at Kyrie Irving and it nearly hit him this fan was then handcuffed and arrested right away hey if you play stupid games you get stupid prizes this one's a little less intense but Kyrie had a fan and his wife removed from the arena and the crowd did not like that what are the fans but in this next clip a fight almost broke out Luca had to be held back after the Suns fan stood up and started chirping him. I mean this dude popped up like a golfer to hate but I think he's just mad about the playoffs two years ago how about when a fan isn't just a normal fan he's actually the owner of the other team that boy Jokic a little bit of contact boy that potentially could get dangerous. Nikola Jokic pushed Matthew Ishbia, the owner of the Phoenix Suns, during a playoff game. Ishbia didn't take it to heart, though, and tweeted that Jokic shouldn't be suspended or fined. That's a W man. And we all know about Draymond shenanigans. But this time, Draymond Green ejected a fan himself during this Bucks game, and I can't help but think it's because of the score. Hey, I'd much rather him do this to fans than punch them. Carmelo Anthony had to be held back from going to a fan courtside, and they exchanged words before Anthony went back to the bench. He used to be a lot nicer to fans, but I guess those days are over. And this clip gets me mad every time. Westbrook got popcorn dumped on him in this clip, and he rightfully gets angry but the worst part is he had just gotten injured the play before this is a really classy move philly keeping up the great fan image and even though kevin Durant is usually calm in this clip he cursed a fan right out he basically told them to watch the game and be quiet but in a harsher way <laughs> No. Dwight Howard is known for being a Taiwan Hooper now, but years ago, he basically dared a fan to come and fight him. He told him to get out of the crowd and go to the back with him, but that fan stayed right in his place, which was probably a smart move. <laughs> and another classic Westbrook moment was when he went into a box at halftime and pressed a fan with his jersey not even fully on. I don't know how Westbrook found himself up there, but still, this moment was hilarious. Rajon Rondo was doing his best John Morant impression during a Lakers game, and a fan slapped his hand away, getting him immediately ejected from the game. I don't know why Rondo was doing that celebration, but as a fan, you just can't do that. But Rondo's best friend, Chris Paul, had a crazier fan interaction where he was screaming at a teenager in the crowd. Apparently, the kid did something to Paul's family in the stands, which is definitely a good reason for yelling at him. But I was surprised at how aggressively Paul reacted. Shout out to him for being a family man. In this clip, Damian Lillard was beefing with a fan outside, and I really thought they were going to fight. Since they were outside the arena already, this was probably the best chance we've seen at an NBA player and fan getting into a fight. If you choose to exclude the malice at the palace, which the NBA has done a nice job at cleaning up. And I'm not gonna lie, this is probably the most unnecessary thing I've ever seen, so play the clip. And tipped by Dwight out of bounds. Oh, look out. What's he doing? 
remember a chance to say that. <laughs> Dwight Howard just dove into the crowd like they were going to carry him off or something. Imagine a 6'10", 270 pound man landing in your lap. That's gotta hurt. John Morant doesn't have a great history, but this might be the softest ejection I've ever seen. He was literally just talking to a fan and got kicked out of the game. I think we need to start having press conferences with refs. And that's just some of the craziest moments between fans and players in NBA history. Comment if you want a part two and click the video on the screen to see Draymond Green's craziest ejections.